Tell me a good joke. <laughs> this is the difference between boys and girls, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. Why did the bee get married? Why did the bee get married? I don't know. Why did the bee get married? Because he found his new honey. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you got a future, child. You got a future. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, no man. What's this? Nose. What's your mind? Nothing. <laughs> uh, no man knows nothing. Oh! <laughs> what is the greatest thing ever invented? Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Some parent is going. <laughs> you notice for a lot of the kids that were here, when I was asking them questions, they didn't have answers. That means there's not enough conversation at home. That we don't actually engage our children as much, and they don't articulate themselves very much. And a lot of times, our children speak to us, and we give them one-word answers. Wow, wow! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! And we're like, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. That's great. But no real conversation. Fluff. You can actually spend your entire childhood just asking the same questions. Did you eat? Did you finish your homework? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Instead, learn to ask questions that maybe they'll give you more. But we have to facilitate. Kids won't necessarily open up conversation on their own. We have to teach them to do that to the point where they want to come and tell you. You don't even have to go ask them. That's kind of what we're learning in Surah Yusuf. When Yusuf himself came, the dad didn't say, did you have good sleep? Did you see a dream? No, the child himself came and said, I saw a dream. That's the kind of communication we want to facilitate with our kids. And so when we talk to kids and they're not giving us much of an answer, that's not their fault. That means we're not teaching them how to have conversation enough. We're not facilitating that for them enough. We're not making it safe enough, comforting enough for them to open up more and more and more. Don't talk to them like they're babies. Talk to them like they're intelligent. Even when they're three, four years old, two, three years old, speak with them like they're intelligent. And even if they don't know how to respond, you know, some kids are more primitive than others, right? That's just how Allah made children. You know, sometimes our kids are even four, five, years old and we speak to them like this that's how they think normal speech works now so even when they talk to you like that's not because they talk like that because they think that's how you talk so they're talking to you in your language <laughs> speak with kids intelligently and you'll be surprised how quickly they learn to communicate intelligently